you just want to finish the year off well, so that's disappointing. And um, I don't really know what to say, sorry. Oh, Jakey, I think I said it before on this show, but sometimes when he looks so sad, you do just want to give him a cuddle, don't you? He just loves his team. He loves his rugby league, but he wouldn't have loved, Gal, what his team dished up against the Titans. That was ugly. It was. Well, the Titans played well. I think we discussed it earlier in the show. Gus mentioned I thought they did play good, to be honest with you. Some of their big guns stood up and they, they did play well. But Manly, with so much to play for, were disappointing. Look, I, I did say earlier in the year, and I, and I remember saying on this show, I said, no turbo, no chance, and... And, and to me, they haven't been. And I, I, I think overall, they've been one of the more disappointing teams in the competition. they got some great players, particularly their full pack, guys like Galloway, Tapao, Tabojevic, Ola Kowatu. They've got some really, really good players. So I think where they are at the moment is really disappointing for them. And when you hear Jake Tabojevic talk like that and see, hear how disappointing he is in his voice, uh, I think it goes to show. I, I do think what happened a couple of weeks ago, the Pride round, has hurt them. I think when you... You see a guy like Jake Chaboyevich who's just rugby league through and through. Rugby league is his life. That's all he wants to do, play rugby league, do his best for the club. The ru- rugby league to him comes first. He had to realise, and he said publicly, I've, I've, I now have to understand that rugby league doesn't come first to some people, and I, I, I think that may have hurt a few of them. You've got to give Jake Chaboyevich credit, because every week, and Danica and Emma, they hit him up after yeah. the game, and, you yeah. feel so, and, he, and he fronts up. Oh, and yeah. that's more than a lot of people at the club at the moment. He's, he's fronting up, and he's the one who's taking all the bullets... For, for the team. Now, you, met, you even you said it earlier, you said the Pride Round stuff. Mm. It's been overshadowed. It wasn't even Pride Round. It was Women in League Round, but it's become mm. such a, a circus around it and it's derailed their season. I know Jake has said that it's, it's not the excuse, it's not the reason, but they've gone massively backwards since that, that game there. And, and even the, the performance against the Roosters that night was better than what they've dished out the last couple of weeks. It just it feels as though their season is coming to an end and their motivation is just dwindling every week. Josh Schuster, Gus, uh, where to for him? It seems to be quite a complicated relationship between club and player who's touted as and will be post-season to take over that number six jersey from Kieran Foran. Yeah, that's his desire, to play in the number six jersey. He probably needs to get a lot fitter than he is at the moment to sustain that for 80 minutes. He's got to work out what sort of footballer he wants to be and understand what a professional footballer actually looks like and, and, and behaves. Um, I thought the signs the week before against Parramatta, I thought they cracked that night. I thought Parramatta's second-half demolition, mm. when it was a game that was toing and froing, you thought Manly got to the front early in the second half, maybe tonight, and then Parramatta just destroyed them. I felt I could hear a crack then. And I think that led to what happened this weekend. I don't think they recovered from that second half last week. And it played over into this game where they ran into a very enthusiastic Titan side who got on the board early and just kept running away with it. And they just didn't have the resolve to go through it. And, and sometimes mentally that can be the letdown from the week before. I definitely saw them crack against Parramatta the week before in the second half. Where a game where it was evenly poised and they were sort of going blow for blow. And all of a sudden Parramatta went bang, 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 bang and it was over. Gone. I could say, well, you know, maybe it's all got a little bit too hard for them. And looking at them too, I mean, look, when I look through their lower grade performances and that sort of thing as well too, there's not a lot of depth or development <laughs> coming through there at the moment. D- development or buying players are the same thing. Same thing, oh. same, same thing is it? <laughs> cool. Cool. The same thing now. They developed him from Western Sydney. Well, that'll do me. Depends, depends what age you're buying. They developed him from Penrith, yes. <laughs> <laughs> With more money.